it should be fixed. So yeah, G2, get off to the start you would expect. Um, so let's actually have a quick look at this buy from Entropic. They've gotten four smokes. I assume they've probably used... Uh, did they use a nade at all? Did they use a flashbang? It looks like Lackey maybe threw his smoke deep. Um, for suicide. Let's just see that as it plays out. Yeah. Yeah, for a dupe. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting decision to fight mid there. I mean, they don't have the best weaponry, but they know G2 are probably still the weapons. So yeah, nice round out of Entropic actually to kind of catch G2 off guard a little bit, I think. Um, yeah, wow, absolutely demolished G2 in mid here. Yeah, I think G2 not really expecting that mid battle to come in the way of it. Um, I think a little bit lazy to G2 there, if I'm honest. Probably one where um, Alexi B maybe needs to be keeping his team a bit more diligent. I mean, Mon Monacy is going to get bomb on now. Mm, to be fair, Mon Monacy has done well out of this. Yeah, just don't think G2 were expecting that aggressive mid-play out of Entropic. Um, I think Entropic... Yeah, just throw throw a spanner in the works there. Um, trying to utilise Elian's ability to just kind of spam through mid-doors with his scout and run around like a maniac. And then just, yeah, just a lot of fight. Oh, unlucky. Yeah. Modesty just, I don't think, fully understood that angle there. So yeah, good good play from Entropic, I think. Um, just a nice way to kind of put G2 under some pressure early on in the round. And honestly, G2 kind of crumbled. Um, don't think they were expecting that mid-fight at all. Weren't prepared for it. And uh, kind of got squished. Obviously, that was a bonus round for G2. So not the end of the world. And in fact, it could end up being a good thing if they win this round now. Because obviously, it resets the Entropic economy. Because um, Entropic don't have a loss bonus built up. So actually, not the end of the world that they lose. Um, we'll see what they get done here. So let's see. Ooh, we got one mid. Oh, they're going to go for the mid fight here. Yeah, Entropic like throwing this top mid smoke and then actually fighting to save the top mid. Ooh, Elian gets a bit, again a bit lazy there. I think Elian should be aware of that angle when the smoke is thrown. Um, not sure if he just got beaten to him, I'm say. Okay, so G2 actually fighting mid here. Okay, so G2 saying, yep, we're going to fight them head on to mid. We're going to get quickly into lower tunnels. And we're just going to make sure that we take this mid control. Because the three on three at this point in the round for T's on Dust2 is completely favorable. I think I think it's really... Dust2 is such a big map that if the T's play methodically, I think it's very hard for the CT's to, to deal with how big the map is. Although if G2 are too... Lackadaisical about this. Yeah, again, that's just this is just like being a little bit lazy in their protocols here. Like they got away with that for sure. They were just not at all cognizant of the fact that a push might come and just basically, like, like I say, yeah, G2 get away with that one in my opinion. I think they were being very lazy there um, with the way they kind of set up for that and just not expecting the push. And Tropic probably should have got more done um, pushing behind them there. I think G2 were very lucky not to get caught with nades out and die there. So honestly, <laughs> not all too impressed with G2 so far. Um, let's see if Entropic... I mean, this is an eco round, so we don't worry too much about this. In fact, I'm, I'm going to skip... Uh, oh, that's, I mean. that's the wrong bind. I've done a demo review. So, bear with me. so we're just going to kind of speed through this. Yeah, still a lot of emphasis fighting up short um, from Entropic, even on this eco round, as you can see from the minimap. But, yeah, this one's going to be uh, pretty easy. Tropic building up a loss bonus. Oh, nice, uh, nice little frag for Elian to get there. Little freebie on the way out. Not too bad, not too bad. Right, so, uh, what is the economy looking like? Uh, probably going to put this on... Yeah, nice shot from Hunter. Yeah, it was a nice shot from Elian, to be fair. Um... There should be an AWP in Spawn for Elian. So, CTs are a little light on grenades, but not the end of the world. Yeah, Monacy is still going to go for this mid-fight, as is Elian, I think, every round. Okay, so, here we go. So, this is something a little bit different now, actually, from, um, 
in Tropic. They're going for less of a mid emphasis and going for more of an emphasis on holding long. G2 still take tunnels control, still go through into middle, and it looks like Jax is taking a very a passive approach here yeah, to kind of holding top mid. I think they're wary of this this mid control from Entropic, and so I think Entropic have conditioned G2 well here to be expecting a, a tough fight for mid. As you can see with the way Nico and Hunter are playing, they're tr taking this mid control very seriously. Jax was taking a possible mid push very seriously. And now even here, Munasi and Alexi B, yeah. So I think they've kind of conditioned... Their topic of condition G2. So now that they've got... Nickelback South at long, they're kind of falling back into a more standard uh, hold on Dust2. Um, I think Crad and Forrester will remain very kind of like mobile. Although I think they've kind of decided that short is where the, the probing is from G2 right now. Minute down on the clock, they've traded map control about as you should, I think, on Dust2. Um, let's see how... No, I'm just going to see. Oh, no, they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bit of a solo bolo play there. Um, but Nico will do those. It's not necessarily a bad idea. He's looking to try and catch somebody out, I think. Yeah, which he does really well done. Uh, and then they get the trades in mid, and yeah, B is, is solo. Yeah. So, what G2 do there is they... Nico and the mid play kind of happens at the same time so that you're splitting the defense's attention like the defense can't be focused on helping out their teammates um but also depending on which player is successful or if obviously both are successful then gg round over you have like the chance to pivot so maybe if those mid trades don't go as well as you want and you lose too many people you can pivot back come up short and join Nico for the attack so uh, a nice little approach from g2 there making sure um that they have kind of all their bases covered i'll do a lot of like looking at the mini map um the mini map is important um i'll try and bring it up more often um but i haven't done tons of these vod reviews so like leave your suggestions down below for what you want to see more of my observing is not going to be the best i'm gonna like say that now deal with it i'm gonna miss frags i'm not an observer i'll do my best to like you know be looking at relatively important people but not having a numpad is a pain in the ass as well. Um, I have a, I have a, a, I can't show you. I have a small keyboard, like a 60% one. Uh, anyway, let's get through the rest of this. So, Entropic keep two guns alive. That is important. They could cobble together some sort of force around this, probably. Maybe Nickelback drops the AK, goes no nades with his M4. But it looks like they're just going to let them hero around it. So, G2 kind of got control of this uh, game so far. Maybe a little bit lucky. Um, early doors to get out to, like, the 3-1 lead they did. Um, but... In general, not too bad. Responded to Entropic's early kind of mid-aggression. Entropic have now, I think that they've got that conditioning. Uh, are going to chill out on that. It'll be interesting to see if that returns uh, later in the half. If Entropic go for like more really big, all of our balls, all of our balls, all of our eggs are in the mid-basket early round. Uh, very heavy A and long lean. Uh, from Entropic on this one. So taking a bit of a gamble on a eco round. Or what is essentially an eco round. Um, so obviously we've got Lackey on his own here. They're gonna... Entropic like to just get one person set up on long. And then move the kind of... Yeah, rest of the trio to like... Fight for like mid-short, that kind of area. Look after the middle of the map. So I think Entropic have to consider it. Oh, wow. So they've got Crad's... Oh, I thought Crad was pushing for a thing there. Mm, losing Nickel back in mid. That's one of the rifles. Yeah, it's probably round over. Forrester recovers a rifle. Tries to get something done with it because he realises that. Falling back. Yeah. Okay, so that's good from Forrester. Um, falling back and playing passive on that is probably not going to work because you're already at a massive disadvantage in the round. And so, instead of just recovering the rifle and trying to play super passive with it, he actually says, I've got armor, I need to take a fight here. Oh, he doesn't recover the rifle, he was one of the other rifles. But, he, point still stands, he realizes he has to make a play here. Um, and that is probably his best chance to, his best gap to. So, Entropic aren't all too well set up for this. Forrest is going to have to fall back. Crad is going to have to move from long, but he has a deagle. Lackey might be able to get a push, and I think he's thinking about it. Uh, let's just... Um, let's see. I think Lackey is at least... Nope, he's not considering a push. Ah, Forrester died in mid. That's probably round done, so... Yeah, I think, um... Elian and Crad will probably... 
there's not huge amounts of point in saving what they have because Entropic are going to buy next round anyway. All I see here. One, to be fair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Lackey made that interesting. Well, Elian probably tries to do something before the bomb goes down here. He's waiting for his teammates to get into lower. He needs to make a bit of noise. Oh, he's seen the bomb on the floor. Okay, this is actually an issue for G2. This isn't the most comfortable. Okay, they've recovered the bomb. It's a little bit better. But very close in tunnels is Crad, who's going to push through this smoke. Yeah. Wow, huge, huge round. Really, really well played by Lackey to get anything done. And now Entropic are playing off each other very well. Mm, no. I think Elian baited it hard there. Oh, he gets away with it. I think Elian baited a little bit too hard there. Probably needed to go out a smidge earlier. Gets away with it. Gets away with it. Yeah, that's really, really well played by Lackey there. I think uh, Lackey is the guy who makes it around happen. Should never, ever get two kills. Um, Hunter was clearly confused about where Lackey was playing. I think he thought he was playing fence or dog, depending on what you call it. Um, there's different names for it. But yeah, Lackey makes that round there. Really, really well played. And then, um, actually, I think Elian did well initially on the retake. To not, I thought he would play more aggressive than he, was, he did because, you know... Um, because they're in a slightly like disadvantaged situation, but G2, the bomb was down, he saw the bomb down, he knows they've got to recover it. But in the end, waiting for Crad because his backstab was so fast was probably the right idea. Wow. wow. Okay, so Entropic get absolutely wrecked by like, aggressive in upper tunnels. It looks like they, they pincered upper and lower. Sorry, I totally missed that, but um Yeah, I think Entropic pincered upper and lower. In fact, okay, we'll 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 go back on that one. Um We'll go back and we'll rewatch that because I was uh, I was nattering and talking nonsense over it and totally missed it. Wasn't expecting a fast play. So we'll pay more attention to this this time. Speed, 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 go, go, go. Right, so, yeah, so four and five, okay, so yeah, three man crunch and they simply lose the fight. Ah, Alexi V gets two there, Nico gets the upper pusher, yeah, so Alexi V getting two is good. Um, it's just one of those where it's all about hitting your fights uh, and winning your duels there. Um, Entropic got the play they wanted. They got two into lower without noticing. So, uh, by some standards, this is going to seem quite... Well done, Jax. Uh, this is going to seem quite gimmicky, what Entropic are doing. But I think this is how you have to play Dust 2, just the way the map is. It is... Um... It, it lends itself to gimmicky. Didn't look like his crossover was anywhere near Jax's head. Um, I think Elian's going to struggle to save the sort, but he needs to try if he can. Yeah, I think Dust2 is just one of those maps. As CTs, there isn't much map control that you can really fight for. Um, like, mid is the only place you can kind of fight for in different ways. Fighting through lower tunnels like that is kind of, you know, you're fighting coming through mid. Um, but upper tunnels is really hard to take in general. Like, they showed the one way you can do it if you happen to get people into lower unseen. But that's basically the only way you can fight for tunnels. Long isn't really fightable for unless you push on a timing. That's the only really way to fight long. The only real map control you can fight for on Dust 2 is fighting up mid and up short to, to fight for mid control. Um, no, bonusy. I don't like that. You know the awful save, bro. Okay, so that's just, I think, a little bit of immaturity from Monacy. Um, Monacy, Monacy, whatever. Um, what we see in. We've got Jax looking around that long. Nico and Hunter investigating tunnels. Uh, looks like they want to fall back into some sort of B play and just rely on Entropic not pushing long. Entropic haven't pushed long all too much. They might take a gamble on this round, though. Mm. Okay, so whilst th that's why Entropic made their um, info play was up tunnels with Forrester escorting Elian. Uh, and yeah, the round's over now. Um, probably just going to walk out. There you go. Round over. Dunzo. Okay, so Entropic coming back into it very, very nicely. Did well there um, to pick up the round. A little bit scrappy, but I think G2 probably still favour... Are they going for a save, G2, really? Because Hunter can't buy. Wow, very conservative. Um... Nico a hero AK. Mm, not a big fan of this economical decision from G2. Um, 
I would much rather see like a couple of people buy down like a deagle or two and just go for that. I'm not a big fan of this hero AK play here. Because there's no loss bonus for G2, right? Or the loss bonus is tiny. Yeah, no, nah, I, I dislike this intensely from G2. I really don't like the buy they've gone for here. I think this is kind of garbo. Which one are they going to... They're going to not have enough cash for like a decent buy next. Yeah, not a fan of that. Really don't like it. Um, you either take it on the chin or you force and try and pressure Entropic's economy. Uh, I don't like what they've done here. They haven't really done anything. Again, G2 just kind of standard mid control, a uh, bit more of a passive early setup. But I think kind of waiting to see if Entropic we're going to go for one of their aggressive mid pushes and they might be able to catch it. Um, I think Nico's AK in lower basically is trying to catch the aggressive mid play. So hinge smoke, pretty standard, short control. Oh, Nico's actually. Yeah. Yeah, now. I, yeah, and now what? And now the buy makes no sense. Now the buy makes absolutely zero sense. Yeah, not a fan of this economic decision from G2 at all. I uh, think it's pretty poor, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, now they're just going to get nothing done. I know the idea was to, like, let Nico do stuff. They had a chance. They got up close. Nothing to be done. Yeah, don't like the buy call from G2. Now what? Now what? Now, now you're going to buy, but just... With like a couple of people not really on enough money. Like this is a weak buy if they go for it. No, they don't. Now they save. What the hell? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Yeah, no. Yeah, this is not. Mm -mm. This uh, no bueno economy management, uh, in my honest opinion there. I think that's... Don't really understand why they would hero AK the last and then save again when they could have forced last or just fully saved last and bought now. So instead, they've given themselves two rounds where they have a shit chance of winning instead of one chance where they had... A ra one round where they had a good chance. And, yeah. No, that, this is shocking economy management. Gotta be perfectly honest with you. Maybe they were banking on a bomb plant last round, but they didn't, like, buy as if they were going for a bomb plant. This round is more of like a... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, my God. Tropic needs to be a little bit careful. Mm, they got three and CT going out mid. Yeah, so they're just giving the bomb up, uh, the bomb plant up. G2 already with the buy, we're going to be able to buy next anyway. Um, yeah, G2 did well to get onto the bomb side there. Probably still shouldn't win. They got two players on no HP, one player on no HP. No, it's a bit good. Part for. Uh, for G2, understandable. Okay, so I think G2 with this pretty shoddy uh, economy management in the middle of the half have kind of let Entropic back into the game. Um, if we take a moment to just look at the scoreboard. So basically, G2 could have forced here or saved, but instead ended up half buying here and here. So they could have either had a good force buy here or a good full buy here, and in de they've decided to have neither. So essentially have given two free rounds to Entropic and allowed Entropic to build a huge economy. Yeah, the absolute blunder uh, of economy management there. I don't think there's any other way of looking at it, really. That's really fucking poor from Alexi B. Gotta be, gotta be brutally honest there. Yeah, I think that's a shambles uh, of an economy management. basically cost them the half or cost them a half that could have been a good one and it's probably now going to be like a, a very close half so they go, finally go for the big Munasi gets picked in mid while they're going for that uh, I don't know if you need your AWPA to be being so aggressive mid Wow, Elian completely taking it for granted that he was not going to get peak top mid there. Bold. Bold strategy, Carton. Okay, now obviously G2 sitting on their map control, seeing how Entropic are going to react. They have no map control elsewhere, so Nico's having a little peek now to try and see if there's... That was brave if Elian was holding that one. 
just kind of save it or wants it? Okay, no, actually wants it. Elian's now coming back to the middle via shore. So moving Elian around a lot, which is good. G2's still just sitting on their controls, seeing if Entropic do anything. I think Entropic realize they have them contained uh, kind of at long here. Mm, interestingly, though, that they're going for the mid, though. I think they're thinking G2 are going to rotate. Okay, now they're thinking, yeah, G2 are just sitting along and they're just going to go long. They're doing a Navi on us, basically. Yeah, Crad is chilling in this smoke. Um, this is hard for G2 to break, I think. Elian gets to take, like, three or four free shots. Wow, Crad just... ...man modes it out from car. Elian should still probably get something done here. Nickelback with the maid. Yeah, as I said, Elian gets to take a few free shots here and just fall back constantly. Like, doesn't have to go too hard. Yeah, gets one there. Nickelback... Yeah, just... So... I... You need to be a really good team at doing that. Which This is kind of the Na'Vi, just getting out long and then brute forcing it. Slowing it down, but just brute forcing it, waiting for peaks, blah, blah, blah. Had no other map control. Entropic figured out pretty easily, I think, that they were at long G2 and boxed in at long. And then there was a small timing window when Entropic had three mid and were looking for a G2 rotate, where if G2 had gone then, they only had Crad to deal with at car. But that's a tough window to find, man. A tough timing window to find. So, yeah, not really super thrilled by G2's T side here. Some very poor economy management. Some good stuff as well. But, hmm. I think relying a little bit too much on their raw skill, if I'm perfectly honest. And Entropic are no slouches, man. Like, across the five man, they've got a lot of strength and depth. Um, Jax with a passive approach to the long hold again. A little bit more aggressive from Crad at long here. I think maybe picking up on some tendencies by G2 that on rounds where they don't commit to taking long, they really just don't bother with it. So, obviously the mid control gathered by G2. So this is another standard dust two round. One person sits at long. We kind of have two floating mid A, two daddy B. Like, this is a stand more standard... Uh, us two rounds. No gimmicks really for a baby side here. A lot of pressure on Elian, I think, on this one. Or potentially um, Nickelback in mid. But Nico's going to do his thing and investigate. Nico likes to do this out short a lot. Just investigate for a little cheeky edge shot. Nickelback gets it done in mid. Oh, Elian. Okay, Elliot, that, that round's on Elian if uh, Entropic loses. Wow, they're still going to win it. Ah, Crad with his long push. There you go. As I said, Crad was figuring out the tendencies. Nico still gets one. What is going on here? Forrester, why? Just stay alive. Yeah. Bit of a back and forth there. Game of throws. Elian, that was a woeful whiff uh, on Nico and CT. And Nico's basically won this round with the 3K. So, yeah, that round kind of falls on Elian there. It's not one you, you, like, harp on too much if you're reviewing this, if you're a pro team, I don't think. Because Elian knows he mechanically misplayed there. He's not stupid. Um, you maybe analyse the trading in mid-after, because it looked a little bit weird there. It looked like Entropic still should have been able to contain the round and maybe got a bit overzealous fighting in middle when they probably could have just contained anything. Unlucky. Just has to make a call. Nice try by Crab. He just has to make a call on where the other guy is there, and he, he you know, goes for back flat and... Obviously, he's in tunnels. You get one chance to take that fight. He either has to immediately spin, or he has to go for the back plat fight. He goes, I think, for the fight that's easier for him to take. Right, so G2, find a round there. Find a round. Uh, probably could have ended up being a 9-6 half for Entropic, or was looking like it might have been heading that way. Uh, G2 do well. So this is kind of back and forth. Neither team playing, I think, perfectly but i would probably say i'm a little bit more disappointed in g2's t side because they pick this map if you pick a map you better be bloody confident in your t side especially in the current meta where it is a bit ct sided just in general the meta right now hinge smoke really really standard stuff wait lackey picks hunter in other tunnels Double orb switch up from Entropic, another good. So Entropic showing lots of different looks on this CT side. Um, ah, 
I'm just I'm I'm pretty impressed by Entropic actually. They've got had a lot of different looks on this um, CT side and probably got a little bit unlucky in the start of the half to not find more rounds than they did. So honestly, yeah, this is not the most inspiring CT side for me too, and I'm pretty impressed with Entropic CT. Side. Again, Crad playing pretty aggressively up at long. Lackey just staring down tunnels. They're going to, like, multi-swing him, I think, here, G2. Oh, okay, okay. That was very bold to step up. No, they still love smoke. I think Lackey knows they're, like, all here, though. Yeah, Crad's pushing now. Yeah. Yeah, this one's not going to uh, happen. I don't think I don't like that. Okay, good. Wow, really well done, Lackey, again. Yeah, the, Lackey's good from this car position, man. Uh, or from Cubby. It's not strictly Cubby. Ah. Cubby. Ooh, Ellie and Jiggling Monacy just in asking to get fucking trekked. Wow, is Monacy going to win this clutch? No. Wow, I was surprised Crad didn't just pre fire that. Monacy in a very uncomfortable. Yeah, Monacy in the way more uncomfortable position there. Um, Monacy did really well to put that into a winnable situation. Um, Elian's jiggle in mid was interesting. I'm not really sure it was necessary. They knew where Monacy was. And again, Crad's uh, pushing from... I think Elian isn't always the best at playing off his teammates. I think that would be my, my criticism of what I've seen of Elian in the past. I think sometimes he um, overbates his teammates or just doesn't utilize them at all. Just plays as if they're not there. Um... I think this is probably his biggest thing he needs to work on if he's going to be like an absolutely tippity toppy tier one author. Right, so we're going to have a pretty even half here. Uh, Monacy gets pick in mid. Yeah, that's tough. Not. I mean, if you go for that fight, uh, then I don't even think Forrester was going for the fight there. I think he was crossing, I would suspect. Oh, very quick out lower, though. Very quick out lower. Really well done by Elian to get killed there. So, again, fairly standard dust two rounds, trading the map control down to a 2-2, split from the CTs. It looks like Nickelback wants to get juicy on short. Good flash. Ooh. Yep, well played G2 to hide from the flash and then immediately get back out and punish. Decent is cool from Entropic. The flash probably needed to be deeper. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Entropic necessarily do anything wrong there. Um, I think it's just unfortunate that nobody gets blinded and you get immediately run down by two Mac 10s after. They're just they're like the perfect weapon for the job in that scenario. So this one's uh, thumbs over. Speed through. Alright, uh wait, I just pressed the wrong button. Let's go! Alright, let's just scoot a dirt through. Speed, 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 speed. Come on. This is three times speed, by the way. I might just cut this out of the old, uh, of the old vidya. You can request drink snacks and other items. Oh man, I'd be on that snack button 24-7.